This is real space, isn't it? Empty, silent. I never thought I'd see the like. I I'd look up at night, but... Yeah, I'm also a little bit starstruck, too. It's so beautiful and peaceful. It's... It's a very interesting sight to see, honestly. This is Lover of Ladies. Thank you for tuning in to this week's The Outer Worlds. I'm with my two favorite companions, Nioka and Pravari. And we are in search of... I'm real sorry about your friends, Nioka. Ain't no one deserves to go by. Certainly not folks just trying to get by. True. Thanks for saying that. You know, after seeing so many people get chomped, trip into sulfur pool, shot by marauders, I always figured we'd die young. But just because you expect it doesn't make it any easier. Oh, shit. Next chance we get, I'm buying you a Spectrum bottle so we can proper drown this melancholy. I agree. That sounds like a good time. So we are here to hunt down some of these creatures so we can use their meat as bait to get rid of the the queen here. And I just love stealing shit because who's going to stop me at this point, you know? Alright, so the primal glands is over there. And of course, there's some robots, so... Let's start dancing. Damn! Oh, so I decided to upgrade the damage and add in a couple of mods here. Damn, this gun is awesome. I increased the damage from 900 to like 1,000 now. So I'm going to be doing some really sick shit with this. Hold up, that's what we need to kill? Get the fuck out of here, Nioka. Are you serious, bro? Oh my god, this is some crazy shit. Can I just sneak by instead? I feel like... I just need to, like, get used to seeing what I'm looking at. They kind of remind me of these rock gorillas. That's basically what they are, rock gorillas. The hell is this? Ooh, oh shit, alright. Oh! Oh no. Yep, rock gorillas. They're very tough too. Look, look at this. Thank God I upgraded my gun, cause I I would have been screwed. What the hell's going on? Everyone, all right? Yeah, I'm good. Haven't found anything yet, though. That's the thing. Oh. Nice, I got one. So we just need two more, I guess. And I ran out of bullets for this one, so I'm gonna use... I'm gonna use this right here. Hold on. Ugh. Yeah, I'll use this one. This one would be my... my second best at this point. I can't believe I ran out of bullets so fast. Ooh, ooh, run away, run away. Big mistake. Fuck! Shit! Oh, shit! What the hell am I dealing with? And they're throwing rocks at me too, like, that's crazy.
Am I getting a disease or something from finding these creatures? Like, they... Ooh. Uh -huh. Thanks for the stuff, but I feel bad. Alright, so we got two more areas we can cover until we have all that we need to go back to Monarch. I gotta admit, though, the scenery of other worlds never, never fails me. I mean, look at this thing. Look at the stars. Look at the galaxy. Holy shit. And look at that big star right there. If it wasn't for a f it w if it wasn't for the fact that this place is filled with murderous rock monkeys, I would say this would be the best place to have a nice romantic walk. Damn. Just seeing all these stars, bro, it's so amazing. Oh. What? You? <laughs> So not only are there monkeys here, but I got worry about these people. I mean, their outfits look cute. I'm about to cop a what the hell? Oh shit! I guess this is like out of the world's version of a. A suit. The power armor. Kind of reminds me of Fallout's power armor. Alright. Give me my glam. Oh, shit. Hey, yo. Oh! You dad's gonna throw rocks at us? Fucking rude. Ha, <laughs> I shot him in the ass. Yeah, it's dead. That was truly an overkill. What's this? Taking too much physical damage has made you soft and vulnerable to more physical damage. I'm not gonna accept this. Cause then if I do, in exchange for a perk, every time I get damage, I'm gonna take twice as much because I'm a weak little bitch. I'm not embracing that flaw. Fuck that shit. All right, last one. You ready? Yeah, that thing is just... Damn, you're one ugly motherfucker, I swear. Alright, so we collected all three glands. So we should be good to go at this point. What do you think, Mioka? That queen ain't gonna go down easy. I can't wait. What's up? I'm sure you've got all manner of hunting stories. Tell me one. <laughs> I took a job once to clear out a rap nest. Partnered up with a fellow out of Fallbrook who called himself Dirty Don. Bit on the shorter side. Had a penchant for cards. Thing is, he introduces himself and the man is immaculate. Clean. He had a flowery presence to him. A pleasantness that didn't invade your space. He was just there and you were glad for it. So why was he called Dirty Don? When we set out to hunt down the Raptodons, I found out firsthand where his nickname came from. Dirty Don killed those Raptodons with his bare hands. Oh, His Lord. bare fucking hands, Captain. He was a whirlwind of grotesque primal fury. In the end... He stood drenched in blood over the entrails of a dozen raps. If he had a scratch on him, I wouldn't have been able to tell. It was glorious. What happened to him? Is he still out there, tearing up the wildlife? Day came when he tried to take on a mana queen. 
fucking idiot. Got himself eaten one limb at a time. Wonder if he tasted like soap. Oh well, live and learn. No matter how tough you are, if you're gonna fight something bigger than you, bring a fire on. Damn. Rest in peace, Dirty Dawn. And honestly, I think due to licensing, they couldn't really call him Dirty Dan because of Spongebob. That has to be a Spongebob reference. I don't care what anyone says. Dirty Dawn. Explains how we ain't dead. Not the pylons, not the O2. This thing's cracking from the ice. We just drift off. Ought to leave well enough alone. Hmm. I'm Dirty Dawn. No, I'm Dirty Dawn. Which one of y'all is Dirty Dawn? Damn, everything reminds me of her, bro. Like, dead ass. I have this co-worker at work who has the cutest freckles on her face, right? And it's like, I just want to kiss them so much because it's so fucking adorable. And now look, these guys... They remind me of her freckles on her face, like... Damn. No! Come back! Damn. Okay. I don't know, I'm just very incredibly smitten with her. Did I accidentally leave poor body? Oh, never mind. Alright, ladies, let, let's head out. I took the liberty of looking over my ship, and it seems like I definitely need a lot more crew members. And I gotta admit though, to my college buddy, Trisha, what do you think about this kitchen? Is this the type of kitchen you would actually click in? Give me your thoughts. Hey Cap. These glams are gross, take them please. Outstanding. These ought to be enough. Let's get back to Monarch. There's an old base I used to call home. I can get us in the door, but we'll have to shoot our way through the Queen's Brood to get to the center. We'll set the bait there. Password to the door is Charon. So, what's Charon? Hayes' idea. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, Nioka. Charon. He said it was some old myth. Something about death and all the things we killed. The rest of us just thought it sounded cool, so here we are. Hmm. It's about time we're going to kill a man and queen. Fucking right we are. Let's let's do it. Level 17. I'll definitely do my perks later. Right now. I have a queen to visit. And she's calling my name in Monarch. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. Okay, Ada, I see you, girl. All right. The boss battle of all boss battles. Let's go. Okay, we are home. Uh. Okay. What do we do? Oh. Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? Hate to break it to you, but I've been in Stellar Bay for a while. Well, spit and sulfur. Mr. Sanjar keeps me posted at this landing pad, so I don't hardly know anything about what goes on in town. Still, you're here now, and that means I finally get to do this part. Okay, here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay. Home of the freshest Sal Tuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Captain Denise. Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even gonna give you your own entry code. Yay. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. 
Is Stellar Bay really that isolated? We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. You're not what I expected to find on Monarch. Oh, that'll just make Mr. Sanjar's day if you tell him. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and whatnot. But that's all outside our walls. Mostly. Are you saying the board's been lying about this place? Oh, sure. It makes Stellar Bay sound like a rotten place, but it's not so bad. Get a good breeze going, and the sulfur smell mostly covers up the fishy smell. Anyway, Mr. Sanjar's got lots to say on that subject. Kinda goes over my head, though. I'm gonna have a look around town. Mr. Sandra will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? That depends. What is it? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tossball poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Who's the black hole? That's Bertie Holcomb. Only one of the greatest tossball hackers ever. I wonder if he's kin. Dad had family that worked for Rizzo's. I never got to meet them. Everyone's heard of him, even on Monarch. We still get some of the games. You've been living in a sulfur pit or something? Actually, I've been in hibernation for decades. <laughs> You're real funny. I'm not. I guess I don't feel so bad for missing what goes on in the rest of Stellar Bay. This poster sounds pretty valuable. I couldn't really say. I'm just a fan of the game. But the fancy collector types say the more people see these things, the less valuable they are. And I figure my poster's been passed around by more than a few people by now. Sure, I can ask about your poster. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. Okay, so let me see here. I think, yeah, I have time for some last minute quest here. Let me just switch quickly. Okay, let me go and ask C Cecilia to see if that poster actually did came in. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna in Halcyon. What can I do for you today? Grim asked me to check with you about his toss ball poster. You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's oh. in the warehouse. But... I'll warn you, Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Earlier, I ever heard you say you were having money trouble. Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix the thing his own self and busted it even worse and then said you wasn't fixing it fast enough so he's docking your wages again? Damn, not are that you that good? I entire experience with such. What not the at all. Hell? Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on Raptodon acid. Do you normally blow your money on Raptodon parts? Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth or mantis worm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. Why are you buying so much from Sebastian? So I can talk to him, of course. He doesn't get going about much else. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this fella. He's sort of the strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. Just ask him on a date. I couldn't. What if he says no? Then you move on, hey, like... Maybe you could ask him for me. I, wow. I mean, a no would still be bad. But it won't be quite as embarrassing if you ask. Oh. Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. Wait, I'm curious. What do you see in Sebastian? He doesn't talk much, but he's got this 
quiet intensity, you know? Like there's no. stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Plus, he's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. Giggity. So, you really want to be with someone you can't talk to. You think that's what I'm looking for? <laughs> You're funny. There are other fish in the sea, Celia. Not in Stellar Bay. Everyone else who isn't taken either smells like saltuna or they're my boss. Besides, a man with a good smile and a proportionate upper to lower body ratio isn't something to pass up. So you're just horny. Okay, that's all I need to know. Sorry, sometimes I get carried away. Mm. I'll talk to you later. So... Uh, let me ask, because I believe that's... Yeah, that's Sebastian. Oh, Lord. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? You look like a woman who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. Sebastian, you ever get your hands on those pheromone sacks? Manipillers ain't gonna hunt themselves, you know. I must have hunted a dozen. But I couldn't find a single sack on any of them. Must be looking in the wrong place. <laughs> Manipillers ain't got pheromone sacks. I just told him that so he'd stop asking me for advice. At least I'm getting a good haul of claws in the process. You're in good hands, traveling with Monarch's top merc. Still, if you want any rap glands or manti claws, I've got you covered. Let's talk about Cecilia. Huh. I haven't seen her in a few days, but I've been meaning to ask her how that rapted on acid is working out. I hope it's working okay, because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. Would you consider going on a date with her? Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount, hmm? Oh, no, that's not it at all. She's smitten with you. You smited her. Smote? Smoot? Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit. On account of no one else having any use for raptodon tongues. This guy is a dumbass. <sighs> okay. Okay. Don't take my word for it. Spend some time with her. I promise she won't ask for a discount. You sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Give her a chance. Give yourself a chance. Yes. Take her someplace nice. Yes. Okay. I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. That's the spirit, Sebastian. Be yourself. Between you and me, Captain? Yeah? I'm not sure Miss Celia knows him too well. But we can hope, right? I want them to be happy. You are such a romantic. I, I swear. That's so cute. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? He said he'll go on a date with you. Okay. But how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, a date with Celia. I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. He likes you, Celia. Just don't ask him for any discounts. Not to worry. If I never buy another Raptodon tongue, it'll be too soon. Ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back to work look. Anyhow, thank you. Wow, she paid me to ask him. I love this. Alright, let's check on... on Velma to see what's going on with that poster. She better not give me any attitude, I swear to God. Damn, this place is getting worse. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. I'm here to ask about Grimm's poster. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grimm his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. What? So it's going to nail. You're fucked up, Velma. About cover it. Wow. You're just giving Grimm's poster away? Didn't he pay for it? No. I paid Sublight for it. So, it's mine. And when Nell pays me for it... 
it'll be hers. Grim may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. You still have the poster, right? It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. Who's Nell? She runs the bedding parlor across the way. Nice professional lady. She asked me about the poster once. Just once. Made a real generous offer, too. She does sound easier to deal with. I don't have time for Grimm, even when I'm not working doubles. Surely we can work something out. Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Huh. So the offer price is $902. Huh. Help me out here. I found Braxton, didn't I? Fair enough. The damn thing's been a headache anyway. Take the poster then. And if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. Something else on your mind? I'll talk to you later. Yo, this Velma chick is such an asshole. She has a lot of nerve to try and sell someone's stuff. Like, talk about being money hungry. Alright, Grim's gonna be so happy about this. He's gonna be jumping it jumping with joy. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. Here it is. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was gonna spend at the bar this week. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker too. Never get the chance to use it these days. Aw, thank you, Grim. That's so nice. Anyways, let's go to... The broker? For what? Hold on. Let me check on my quest so real quickly. Talks? Do all ships do that? I can't say for certain, since i only ever been on this one. Ada's something special, though, ain't she? Ada, what is... It. She? It? I, I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. It used to be I thought she was a simulated intelligence. You know, a long series of commands telling her how to react to certain inputs. You used to? What do you think now? Well, I worked with a lot of machines, and ain't none of them like her. They can be pretty smart, but mostly they're rule books with a voice box. Ada's different. That's true. One of life's mysteries, I suppose. I don't trust it. If it crashes us into a star, I'll be a mite upset. Ada would never do such thing. She's... She's just, you know, Ada at this point. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.